I don't think any, I don't certainly don't want to see a government shutdown, and I don't know of anybody in the Senate that does. Uh, I hope what happens is that there is an ag agreement that's reached. It sounds like we're very close on a budget caps deal, uh, some other things, perhaps debt limit that might ride on that agreement that could take the House passed uh, vehicle, send it back to them for another vote that would avoid any kind of a shutdown. Uh, I, I certainly don't think that's in anybody's best interest. Uh, we have an agreement to proceed on immigration. That debate will start next week in the Senate. That's what the Democrats had hoped to get out of all this. And so that, I don't think there's any reason for anybody right now uh, to shut the government down. Yeah, I mean, it, the report, Senator, seemed to indicate that, uh, that uh, Leader McConnell and Schumer are getting very close. That's your understanding as well? That's right. Uh, our leader and the Democrat leader, uh, Senator Schumer, uh, I think are very close to a deal which would wrap up some of these outstanding issues that need to be resolved. And frankly, I think it's important for us as leaders here in Washington to provide certainty, as much certainty as we can, uh, to people across the country with respect to the government operating and functioning. And then, you know, the debt limit, some other issues, uh, tax policy, some unresolved tax issues that need to be addressed. If we can get all those things uh, sort of wrapped into this agreement, I think it would, uh, it would clear the path to start focusing on some of the other stuff that we have to do. Uh, one, of course, which next week will be the immigration debate. Right. Is it your understanding it would be a two-year deal as seemingly has been outlined? I think so. And, and, of course, most of our members are very interested in seeing that we increase funding for national security. We're not meeting our requirements. Our readiness is really, I think, at risk. And, and a lot of Republican uh, senators feel that way. I think the administration feels strongly about that. The Democrats, of course, are insisting that for every dollar increase in national security, there be a, a dollar increase in uh, non-defense spending. Um, we don't think there's a policy rationale for that, but that's sort of what the Democrats are trying to achieve out of this. And I understand there's going to have to be some give and take, but the main thing, at least as far as we're concerned on the budget caps deal, is, yeah, create some certainty, hopefully get a two-year deal, uh, get the plus up in military funding so we can take care of the, the national security requirements, which uh, are uh, desperately in need of funding right now. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.